when you're training down alpha like that, what I've been seeing a lot with a client lately is that when the alpha comes down, the beta goes up. And um, I was just wondering if you could yes. talk about that a little bit. Absolutely. Can you see my screen? Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, this person is uh, actually calming down. So see, their alpha is going up uh, to, to 20, which, mm -hmm. which is over and even higher. And then they're training. As they train, they're just train. This is using um, uh, training PZ, as you can see, which is what uh, Ross and, uh, and Lanius recommend. Um, and if you look on your map, a lot of times these people do have high alpha in the posterior around P3, P4, PZ. So she's spot on there too. Um, when you train uh, them down, this is kind of a pattern you'd see. Uh, it goes uh, up at first, they're busy in their mind, and then slowly they begin to focus more and more on the pitch. Here I'm using, um, uh, as far as I know, this is proportional training. Yeah, it's we're training uh, alpha proportional, so we're using the alpha proportional screen. And you can see this person is getting it down, and that's the whole reason we developed the alpha proportional screen was for these tough customers. And then it goes back up, so they don't, they're not consistent. They go back up, and they're busy mind again. And then this person really focuses and gets it really down. And look how far they got it down, right into normal range. I mean, they got below 12. So this is eyes open alpha around 10. That is fantastic. Look what happens to the beta. Muscle tension drops and it comes down. That's high beta. And then the the bleed over from the high muscle tension into the beta drops out. And so you start to see real beta, but it never quite get there. But once they get down below eight, you're starting to see where their um, real beta probably is. It's down as low as seven. The real beta may actually even be lower when they get this high beta down. So this is a person calming down during this process, but I know this person has done a truckload of alpha, theta, and clinical work over their life. Um, so it's, it's another clinician. But um, the fact is, is that usually when this alpha is coming down, what you're gonna see is either the yellow line or the yellow and red line go back up. And there's a reason. In fact, when the alpha briefly came down here, can you see this beta came up? Mm -hmm. that's um, conversion you know you think of conversion disorder you only think of like you know uh, people with severe conversion disorder but conversion is a true physiological process they call it somaticization in old medicine but conversion is a real event where you actually um, can uh, take any of the anxiety or fear and redistribute it to other one other system in your body. In other words, you don't do it consciously, but you do it based upon your genetics and your uh, family system training. You'll put it in some other part of your body. Uh, so one of the most common things is that you'll see uh, people's uh, beta, particularly the high beta, go up as that alpha comes down. What's happening is that as you're taking away the busy mind, which Ledoux says blocks input of fear, they're starting to feel that fear. And when they start to feel that fear, that fear is connected with other thoughts because you know, automatic thoughts and automatic emotions are all connected. And that's the work of Aaron Beck and 20 or 30 years of psychological research. And when that happens, they're going to compensate somehow physiologically. They're going to brace. And we've got decades of research on that in biofeedback that when people start to become fearful, they brace physiologically and they worry. And that's so, so that alpha comes down, they're gonna to start to worry and they're gonna to start to brace. So they're gonna get more beta, they're gonna get more muscle tension, particularly if they're males, okay? Now, if it, it was a woman and you were measuring peripheral vascularity, you would see that drop off uh, almost the same as same rate as the male muscle tension drops off. So you get what you're getting is a um, uh, an awareness, a conscious awareness of how afraid they are, and their system is reacting to it. 
and then as that alpha goes back up, you'll see it drop down again. So the seesaw relationship between alpha coming down and beta and high beta coming up, you'll see it quite often. You can also see it really commonly in alpha theta training. When people are starting to have crossovers, if the beta increases, you're seeing physiological bracing, you're seeing conversion as people seek another method of coping with the fear that they're starting to experience. So this is why I said earlier in the whole session, you can't just look at the neurophysics alone, you have to look at the person's history, the triggering context, and, their, and any dietary things that may be contributing to.